trails gaze at the sky. Super lucky summer, don't you think so? Super lucky summer from the get go. Whoop, don't forget about the rest though. Chum, chum, chum until you let go. Running to the waterline. It's just the heat and your tummy and the oil for the shine. Super like a summer, don't you think so? Super like a summer from the get go. Don't forget about the pesto. Chomp, chomp, chomp until you let go. Mind you live there, get your Gino spot. Gino spot. Get your Gino spot. Gino spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot. Gino shot. Get your Gino spot. Gino spot. Get your Gino spot. Gino spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Get your Gino spot. Gino spot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Center Stage. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gino Spot Tuesday night at half past six every Tuesday. That's what we do on Tuesday nights. We get ourselves a little drink, a little gin and tonic or whatever, and we sit down and watch a bit of Gino Spot. Check out a little bit of PE or Eastern Cape. Uh, whatever comes on at the time of you guys are hope you are ready and I hope you are relaxed. Uh, it's been a, been a nice little weekend, a little vibe. We had a ride this morning. Of course, uh, um, I've been riding with our guest, our guest tonight, Mike Disson Pern, uh, Quick Spa, First Avenue. We'll be chatting to him about uh, how he started and what he did, and when, and and how, what the business, uh, what the business is doing, and and uh, and what he's been doing to get it get it going. Uh, looks fantastic there. I've seen um, he's got all sorts going on there. He's been building that as well and working hard on it so we're going to find out what he's been doing and i uh, hope you're all good i hope you've got a drink in your hand something just to you know if you don't like the alcohol then and have a bit of coffee or something something to give you a, a, a relaxing feeling because that will, that's what we need we need a bit of relaxing we've got uh, I, I see the, the the weather guru just a bit of news this week i see the weather guru tells us that it's going to be a rain this weekend and uh, i hope that means a lot of rain because we need a moose a lot of rain because I need to get my, my tanks filled up, but not only selfish reasons like that. We need it in the bloody catchment areas. We hope that they've been a, uh, the, the catchment areas are going to going to uh, collect all that rain and spew it into the dams. And um, and, and I see and with nice people coming on board tonight. Welcome, welcome to Gino's spot. Um, and uh, we, we're going to obviously say thank you to our sponsors. Our sponsors. Oh. Spa have been with us now for almost three years, almost three years now as well. And, and, and um, our, uh, of course, our internet provider, Amobia, Amobia. Thank you to Nicola and the team there. Always helpful, always, um, always uh, at, at our disposal to use. If something goes wrong, they're always there. And, uh, and let me tell you, it's been pretty stable. Touch wood, touch wood. I'm touching wood right now. You know, you never know with a bloody internet what's going to happen. But um, Amobia has been doing a fantastic job now also for three or four. Uh, since COVID already, I don't, I don't even know how many years it is. With three years since COVID, so um, also thank you to our uh, to Fitch and Leeds as well. Fitch and Leeds always been uh, been supporting uh, in the background, and we are going to give away a case of Fitch and Leeds to one of our people online tonight. So uh, right after the interview, please uh, stay online because you, you, yes, you indeed, you are that you are watching you, uh, and if, if you're commenting as well, you can also win. A case of Fitch and Leeds. So uh, tell me where you're watching from and what you're doing. Tell me what's happening uh, in your lives. Uh, I see that there's been
been a, 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 um, a vote of no confidence that was uh, uh, averted today by the mayor. We like the mayor. We like he's been on the show as well. If you want to check that, uh, the, the, the mayor's show, just go back into our Gino Spot YouTube channel and you can, you can see all the shows that we've done as well. Uh, also, um, you can push... Uh, subscribe on that YouTube channel. The YouTube is the best place to watch Gino Spot on Tuesdays. If you push the little bell, then it reminds you, and then it goes ding, and then you can come and watch Gino Spot on Tuesday nights. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have Mike De St. Pern on just now. He's getting ready ba backstage, but in the meantime, I'm going to sing you a song. So, tell me where you're watching from and what you're drinking. Or what? Give me something. I'll sing it for you. We'll sing it for you. We do a little Italian song, I think. Whoa, how about that? <laughs> Whoa, that's right. Carole, Jacob is this. She says hi, Gino, and Dylan Cooper is there too. He says, my band, Lacker Boot. Camille Ellis is there with the foot on the top. I hope you're... Welcome to Gino's spot. Come on, let's let's get things going. A nice little vibe. Send in some comments. Any questions you want from Mike as well? Easy, easy peasy. We can put it up. Volare. Any idea how to get the fat the Labrador to move up? He's hogging. He's hogging the bed. You lie with doubles. You pick up the fleas. Duncan Brown is watching from Plattenberg Bay. I need a fish to put me back into stock. Yes, sir. You'll have to speak to Fitch and Leeds yourself. And Garth Webster, I'll be watching you. Tracy Phillips. Oh, me. Tracy Phillips. You'll get it free. Ah, la, 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 la. And Lindy St. Bernie is there. She said, Catherine Ferreira, watching from Centurion. She says hello. And Gary the Brain, he's watching from Hazy View. Gary Duncan Brown, he needs some stock. <laughs> oh, and Mark Banks is there too. The Dolphinarium is gone. Bum, bum. <laughs> Mark Banks, how's it, Mark Banks? A fantastic, unbelievable comedian. Uh, uh, watching as well. Fantastic. Nice to have you on as well. Tracy Phillips from East London. Nice to have our East London. And if into Clark, a nice a bit of beer. Nice bit of beer. Lindy Dispen of course, the wife is watching, could do with a crate. Oh, really? Well, I think Mike will have to get one before he goes. Honorable, the Honorable Mum uh, Mafa. And that's a. Um, um, Moloisi, yeah, I'm going to get, just got to pronounce these things right. Gary debate on the way. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad we got some uh, got some stock for you. See that? We can just hook up stock for Oaks as well while we're here. Keith Clark. Keith, we've got your punters on board here tonight. Mike and I are drinking a bit of punters because uh, Mike needs a bit of uh, needs a bit of a pick me up. He's had a bit of a hectic day, I think, today. But we'll speak to him and find out, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to bring on our special guest tonight from the Quick Spa in First Avenue, Warmer, Mr. Mike Disenpere. <laughs> There we go. We've each got a mic in here. We're all ready to go. <laughs> and I see the people, people popping, popping on. Oh, there the we go. And Keith Clark, I mean, she's like, you know, we're just talking one about... One oak that 68 years old spends more time on the golf course, on the bicycle, <laughs> and on Facebook. And on Facebook. 68 year olds shouldn't be on Facebook as much, Keith. <laughs> Not a you know, the, it's all in the mind. The age is all in the mind, Mike. Yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. For sure. You know, I, I think, um, I, I, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's always about the community, isn't it? So, like, I see the guys coming on, uh, some of the spa guys. I see Duncan Brown on, online as well, what a legend from, from Plet too. Do you, the, the spa owners, I mean, I know you get together with, with spa it's, it's itself, but, I mean, you have a lot of, you know a lot of the guys around. Yeah, right? I'm fortunate enough to know them, eh? And, I mean, yeah. I was here in the Eastern Cape for for, for 17, 18 years, so I know them very, very well. At the DC, Duncan of course, particularly, yeah. yeah, I'm well in the DC, yeah, yeah. So I know them in a different capacity. I'm starting to learn to know them in a 
Very yeah. different, very different role now. Because so. now, Mike, of course, uh, for those who didn't know, but that Mike, Mike was working for Spark for for many years at, at the at the main at the head office and it well, wasn't the head office, but the the, the Joburg office and then and the PE office as well, and uh, and dealing with all the spas. But then you've actually gone and gone and got your own now. So it's you now you're in the retailer space now. So now you're fighting in a different way. Yeah, momentary lapse of uh, concentration. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there? <laughs> do you, so do you, I mean, I, I know a lot, a lot of guys have, have actually done that in the in the past as well. Is is it a good move? It, it, I suppose you get more autonomy. Do you, you you don't not working for a boss anymore? I think I think when you're in corporate and you're in the side that I was in, you yeah. think retail is so lacquer. Um, <laughs> when you're in not... retail, you suddenly realise it's not so lacquer. <laughs> And then you want to go it's back. Done. It's and done. go no back. Eh? You can't. Uh, you can't I, reverse things. I know because it's it's twenty four seven now, isn't it? Yeah, I think. You know, I don't think I've worked as hard. Uh, yeah. A very different kind of stress, I think. Yeah. You know, I think before stresses in in corporate is is ongoing. Every day yeah. it's stress, and you stress about different things. But yeah. uh, when you're in your own business, you're stressing about one thing, but you're stressing yeah. about it all the time. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to try and learn to actually to, to, to not worry too much about it. Yeah, and I start yeah. learning to wake up. My body wakes me up at one o'clock in the morning because it's after 12 o'clock to check my bank balance. You know? <laughs> and I, and, and <laughs> for some bleep, reason or other, at one o'clock every morning, there's nothing in the black bank anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nothing a, changes. That's retail. I think that is. It's like, it's like uh, because um, obviously you've got this this huge flipping juggernaut that you've got to, you know, it's like a ship that's going through and you've got to keep on... Uh, making sure the petrol keeps on coming you know yeah i think it's it's relentless it's yeah. ongoing you know you, yeah. you and i speak about it all the time yeah. and it is, is ongoing but it's lots of fun i yeah. mean it is lots of fun it's very different to what i'm used to retail yeah. i'm used to i've been in retail for 30 odd years and okay. so i'm used to the game but yeah. it's a completely different side of, yes. <laughs> of, of retail and, and uh, i've got lots of mates that are ex-retailers and current retailers they laugh at me because of the complaints that i'm i make now as a retailer was what i used to have to listen to when they were retailers yes. i used to tell them to shut up and i know remember. exactly i'm just no, saying no, duncan no, brown's no, probably just be very kind duncan yeah, one he's of gonna them. be laughing peter barnes is another peter, one peter, peter really barnes can. yes no. somebody no. tag peter barnes in this thing he's got to watch this tonight as I'm well sure he's i see grant Botton there saying how's it too shop for your dog there we at go first, and grant's, my, uh, grant's is my biggest fan he's a, <laughs> and he comes to all of our wine tastings wine and tastings and yeah, he shops yeah. at our store we'll grant, chat about the wine tastings yeah. just now as well a fantastic fun and uh, let's have a look at some of these uh, comments while we while we're here as well otherwise we fall behind oh uh, look look at your wife is online as well yeah, that's good but she's, uh, i think she wants something later oh uh, there we go yeah, maybe you'll get lucky my uh, you, <laughs> whatever <laughs> <laughs> whatever <laughs> Keith Clark saying Mikey calm down there brother he uh, says <laughs> no, I'm very calm but he's, no, very he's calm. calm Elmarie Samson Spa my favourite store there we go uh, thank you Elmarie thank you uh, 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 the spa stores certainly have got that um, feeling that's why I, I, I like I always like the tie in with spa and Gino spot because um, because it's a community thing yeah, I mean, you've got uh, each spa has got its community that, that has to support it really yes. around around yeah. it. I suppose any retail. I think very quickly uh, I've learned to actually to to get into our community. Yeah. You know, you've got to do that, and you've got to, I think, uh, endear yourself to the people that come into your yeah. shop. Yes. Uh, but and also the potential of people that aren't there yet that mm. that will still come. You know, mm. and and that's one of the things that I did when I started there. The very first thing was to create a safe haven for the people to come and shop. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. was the first thing. Yeah. So myself and uh, and our landlord and ex-retailer AD, we put a fence up around the, up around yes. the property, which wasn't there before. Yeah. You know, and we just got rid of just certain elements that yeah. just created a, a, a it's, sort it's, of a, it's an a uncomfortable feeling for our security. customers. Security. It's a security. Yeah. If you want to go in there, you feel. Absolutely. So, and, and, and even, I mean, the inside of the shop is just transformed. It's, uh, and and I, always, I always find that interesting with, with retailers. It, there's so much that goes into that. So you're talking about, like, we, we, we go riding together on, uh, it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, sometimes Thursdays, but I'm, I'm a bit lazy sometimes on Thursdays. Somet and sometimes he's a bit late. <laughs> Indeed. And then uh, where's his kit inside of it? Okay. I want to say that, you know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll get to that as well when we get to the bicycles. Oh, my God. Uh, ask mine about the rubber telephone he gave me when he was retail ops director. What is this that? This is Duncan. I don't know. I don't remember that. I must be honest. I probably did do it. <laughs> did it look like a telephone, Duncan? What Perhaps was that? you've got to tell me about that because I can't remember. I'm sorry, but but it's possible I did. <laughs> Maybe it just looked like a rubber telephone. It was probably something else. If I know Duncan Brown. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> but yeah, so uh, I mean, the 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 the, the inside of the shop and and the, and the, uh, you know changing the smell. We're talking about the smell of the shop is so important. You walk into this yeah, shop, if it smells like crap, you're like ah. Yeah. You know, I speak about that all the time, man. Eh? I, I try and 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 I, I spoke about it when we launched our tops, and I spoke about yeah. the five senses. I learned yeah. that from a very 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 good retailer in the in the South End yeah. Division up in okay, Joburg. Yeah. And he teaches you and, and assists you to worry about the five senses. And it's important. So it's so firstly, it's it's sight. So your yeah. sight and what it looks like yeah. has got to be good. So that's the first Neat thing we did. On the outside, we worked hard at making the building yes. look good so that people will come in and inside yeah. as well. Then it's the yeah. smell. Then it's the, the taste. And then it's the touch. And then it's okay. the sound. Yeah. So the music's got to be good. The music but the, well. ta- the smells are very, very good. So in the yeah. mornings when we open the up shop, we try and get the bakery and the coffee yeah. to smell good. That's and then it. at lunchtime, we get the burger is going and we get the, the, yeah. the fire and grill going in the evenings we try and keep the chicken and the grilled chicken going so okay. you'll always try and get different smells the and senses. sounds and and the senses to bring people into this makes so such a work very hard at that yeah i mean there's so there's nothing worse than working walking into a retailer and, the, and this and it smells like crap you know it's like a, you just want to get out of there you know some of these shops are like like there's this like cloud in there. whereas um you know when you go in there it feels, smells like fresh bread all you want to do is like I gotta get some bread. <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, one of the one of the things that I mean, Spa did this. They did a survey and they said they they trying to get the what is the most important thing that brings customers back into yeah, the stores. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things that came out tops near the tops is hygiene. And it's the cleanliness. So okay. so it's not just the smells, but it's the the lack of certain smells. Yeah, so keep okay. the drains clean and you know yes. no dirt and 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 also keep the floor shining and everything yeah. must be clean and tidy and neat. Okay. And uh, and that's what we worked on very very yeah. hard from the very beginning. So I. Had like a lot of my friends and guys that I knew in this area, Marius uh, from Kanye Cleaning, and oh, yeah. there's a nice plant for you, Marius. Hey, Marius, here we go. Uh, but we came in, we did a deep clean, and we really start, you know, we start pushing that very hard. Okay. You know, but a lot of people said, hey, geez, did you put new floors in it? I just, yeah. you know, we just cleaned them, and we bought yeah. a nice <laughs> machine, give them a nice scrub, and, you know, so those are the little things. But it's also the lighting. So there's the yeah. site as well. So we changed the lighting. So when we okay. when we started then, we were of doing course. our due diligence. Yeah. Customers were saying, ah, the store's so tight and it's dingy. Yeah. And, it, yeah. you know, that, and ours are so narrow. Okay. I just changed the lights. The and everybody up. seems to think that the aisles have been widened and we've yeah. expanded the store. It's they can the see. Yeah. They can actually see. It's, it's the little things that it's... Especially as our people, you know, we like to be able to see things with a bit of light. <laughs> So quickly, there's got a couple of other uh, comments coming up there as well. I don't want to fall too far behind with the comments. Uh, the Honourable uh, Moloisi, the Moloisi, is that right? I don't know if I've got it. Honourable Moloisi, she's just such a great person, always friendly to customers. The staff is so amazing. I love Quick Spa on first. It's two minutes drive, and I go there every day. There's, there we there's go. your thank community you so much. right thank there. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank we you. need again. Come and see me. We'll we'll chat. Yes, it looks well. It looks like she's quite organised there. She looks like thanks, Dunks. Says, now I remember, Dunks. But you know, you didn't just stand down, phone down on me once. Oh. There's a few times, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, in the end, you you gotta have you gotta have fights with her, especially if you're you're in the DC there in the reseller. Now he knows what it feels like, Dunk. You know, it's Gabriel Ellis says, I remember when it's a new Nick's Cafe. Yeah, because you, you, of course, bought it from, uh, well, it was, it was one, two owners in between, I think. Yeah. I even remember it when it was Nick's, uh, Nick's. you know, and I, 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 we've just had our 30th birthday. So the store's 30 years old. Yeah. Um, when uh, Spa came into the Eastern Cape uh, 30 years ago, yeah. they opened three stores in Port Elizabeth. It was Nick's, new old Nick's, which old is the Nick's, one where okay. I am yes, now, yes. Uh, Hunter's Retreat and uh, and Warmer, um, where Bernard Simon is. So mm. those are the first three stores. So we're all 30 years old this year, same Jeez, as Spa is 30 years old. Yes. So that's wow. it's actually quite a privilege. And, and that store and that site has been there forever. And yeah. uh, okay, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, it's iconic. Um, yeah. It'll never go away, and that's probably the, one of the reasons why I invested. Them, you know, so yeah, you know, and, and and keep it going because it's it's not going to go away. It's no, a busy it's, corner, so it works for sure, it. for sure. And I, I, we actually last week on the show we had. Um, uh, uh, I'm trying to think about our guest one, but it was it was next next cafe as well. Um, uh, Margaret, Margaret was on. Um, Margaret was on on last week, and she she was involved in that um, that next uh, story as well at the time. 
He was going out with him. Mar- Margie Cullen, yeah, yes. Margie Cullen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she, she was involved with that next store, and, and I, I don't know if she was involved when it was a spa as well. I can't remember Margie Cullen. She was an amazing guest as well, incredible. Um, but uh, so, so and, and Bernard just stays up the road, yeah? We can throw a stone on his yeah. place. I think he just sure, is just yeah. up, yeah? Sure. So uh, did he own that, that spa from the beginning as well? Or, or uh, no, 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 okay, no, 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 no. It was now called Our Super Spa. Yes. And uh, no, he bought it, uh, she's Bernard, I don't even know. Uh, yeah. 10, 12 years ago. Someone maybe can longer. tag Bernard yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, maybe okay. even longer than that. So, and he's yes. done an exceptional job there. That Very nice. Just, it's also a wonderful, wonderful. Also, place. it got, goes in waves, you know, they, they yeah. redo it. And, and it must cost a more of a lot of money to do that. To do the yeah, it depends on what you do and if you're smart enough and you understand, okay. you know, I mean, and you yeah. and you put and do the right things and yeah. put the right things in. The, the, the expensive thing is actually the physical equipment that you have to replace. Ah, and those are the things that cost money. So, fridges. Yeah. Now, what's your yeah. biggest. That's the, yeah. that's the fridges, is it? fridges, and and any equipment in the back, in the in the bakery, in the butchery, ovens. anything like that. Just so you, and you, as, as it you goes, can... yeah, and as it goes, inflation grows, and the steel costs go, and this yeah. cost cost goes up. That just everything just yes. inflates. It's and very difficult. Uh, and 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 load shedding and that sort of stuff as well. Have you managed to get around that? Really? Uh, look, I mean, we've got a, we've got a generator, so fortunately we can we can okay. run most of our business. You yeah. can't run your you can't run your production areas. Um, yeah. Not not. Everybody can. Those big that, stoves and things. But yeah, and the ovens. The ovens yeah, are the big ovens. thing that anything that heats up, uh, you know, I mean, but, you know, I mean, shout out to all of our retailers out there that have, that have got this load shedding. It is, it's, you know, it's hard enough making it work. Uh, and then you've got this load shedding that, that gets added to it. It's yeah, just, it just yeah. makes it very, very difficult. You know, when, when you walk, you're, you, you, you're, you're riding and cycling or are you walking or you're having a run or something and you run past and you just hear the generator going and you just, I just feel so sorry for these poor bloody retailers and all these guys that are, that are running businesses, they're trying to run a business and they have to deal with this stuff. Yeah, I spoke to one generator. of my colleagues today, one of our retailers and, he, and, he, and he's been in the, in the business 27, 26, 27 years. He says it's never ever been as tough as what it yeah. is now. Yeah. And, and that is added to it, you know. It's yeah. just, you've got to find the cost. I mean, in a, in a, Normal size store can cost up to a hundred, hundred and twenty thousand rand a month on diesel costs, yeah. and your electricity doesn't go down, no. which is the strangest no. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's still, it's still the you same. Know, so how money. does that work? You know, yeah. Yeah. it's just it's unbelievably difficult for yeah. for us to make things and, to make things work. And to go solar on on a on a place as big as that is just it's yeah. prohibitive. Look, I think some guys do, and 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 I know Darren Forley's done a lot of work uh, on, oh, okay. the, on the on the on, on that side of things, on the solar side, and yeah. and. and that definitely reduces the yep. footprint of your use of electricity. But yes, it, yes. You can't necessarily run your business no, no. off solar, you know, yeah, yeah, off, yeah. Off, off an It just helps save a bit of money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what yeah. we're doing. I see just a couple of um, things. There we go. The first spa is Rory Norton. says the first spa in Port Elizabeth dates back to the 1960s. Oh, yes. Uh, that, was, that was the European, I think, was it, the, is it the Dutch company, yeah? Huh? Yeah, um, look, I, I think I think what happened was with Spa um, in the old days. So when we say that we started 30 years ago, yeah, yeah. it was the distribution center started. The DC, ago. yeah. In, so a lot town. of the stores that were in the Eastern Cape, and I know that there were stores in Middleburg and, and in the Karoo, they used to they used to send stock up by train from the Western Cape or okay. from the KZN. Okay. So when we, and, and then I think it fell away for a little while and then it came yeah. back in full force in 1993 where, where wow. the distribution center came and okay. they came here back in force. Properly. In fact, at the time, uh, our opposition and competition at the st- at that yeah. stage, I won't say which one, yeah. um, had said, oh, we don't give you more than six months. And that was, oh, really? that was genuinely said to them. Yo. And uh, 30 years later, we still... 40% market share. So, yeah, you know, no, it's so the well. brand is, and I think it's got a lot to do with our consumers and the people in PE. Uh, yeah. You know, they've supported the brand very, very well. But you yeah. know, you go anywhere in PE, it doesn't matter where you go. Small towns, cities, most corners, you'll find a spot. Yeah, you will. They're, they're, and, they're, and, they're very yeah. community based. Like that. Just put that uh, one of, of Rory's there. There was an interesting uh, a, a comment there. He said, um, a song supermarket in Stanley Street, which later became, uh, is it Al Joe's? And finally, an okay <laughs> before the restaurants took over. A part of their store is currently with milk and bread. Is oh, he's milk and bread. Of no, course, but it's I lovely history that Rory. I mean, it's yeah. lovely to hear that because I, I, yeah. I honestly didn't know that. You know, yeah. but I do know that spa. It's not like it arrived in yeah, 1993. It was, it, was, it was around, but I mean, it was, but it was from a distribution and, perspective. And also a very small market share, I would Absolutely. imagine, at that time. I seem to remember a green, Rory, maybe you'll remember, I think it was a green logo. It wasn't, yeah, it was red. Yeah. Um, and then I see, uh, I see, uh, um, uh, is it Mamafa? 
She says that she's going to pop in tomorrow as well. <laughs> On the 10K voucher winner, Spa's 30th anniversary. Look at that. Oh, oh my fantastic. goodness. Yes, please come and see me. Yes, so I, I, I 10K. Did, wonderful. I did meet you. We definitely, yes. I remember now who exactly who you Okay, okay. Yes. yes. Love yes. Kicks a great service. So she's, she won a 10K. It was a 10K. Yes, yeah. like lekker. Yeah, through Club of Wenenia. Oh, Club of Wenenia. Okay, I see. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think they're very involved with the spa ladies race. Uh, the ladies race is coming up soon now as well. Yes. Uh, so if you are a, a, a runner, make sure that you enter that as well. It's, it's, I think they're going to be, they've got a club in NN involved in this year as well. Only for girls, Duncan, not for you. Yeah, well, Duncan, you can dress up as a girl if you need to. <laughs> Again. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, there, uh, Wendy says Margie. Uh, Margie had that, uh, went out with the brother. Uh, uh, good evening, all. Uh, how do we join your Tops Wine Club? Jeff Applewhite, you need uh, just... You can make contact with me, come and see the store, come, even ask Message you know, me, message we'll, me. We'll I'll get you on there, no I'll problem. I'll get you on the group. We've got a WhatsApp group that Kathleen organizes, and, uh, and and we can we can do that. Rory says, I think the logo is similar, but green, yes. Yes, probably as in green grocer. <laughs> it was. Uh, I seem to remember that green thing. Rory's giving away his age, I must mm. say. Big time. Oh no, Rory, oh, you know, he's getting old now these days. And, and so, okay, so, so you bought, uh, how long has it been now since you've been there? Um, can, can I do it in hours or minutes? <laughs> Dude, you counted them. It's just right? over a year. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 13 months, 1st of April. Yeah. <laughs> April full. Can That's right, because we did, we did, I remember we did the launch. That was, that was after. That was the Tops launch. We, did, yeah. we revamped oh, the, the, the tops. tops and then we launched that in October. Yeah. Because so, that's another old thing. Now, the Tops, the Tops, and Tops is really taking off, um, yeah. uh, you know, uh, nationwide. Yeah, look, it is, it's quite big. I mean, I think, I think there must be over a thousand stores now in, in, the, in the country. So Tops has been a, a wonderful uh, sort of add on to our business. It's, I mean, uh, obviously our competition's caught on to it and they're doing the same thing yeah yes, so it does yes. become but i think the the initial thinking around tops was to try and create a get a rid of the old bottle store sort of yeah. sort of stigma and go into a, a liquor store where the the yeah. woman could come in and shop and feel comfortable and yeah. secure okay. so that's yeah. been Instead tops, of that, that's been it's tops, so true i never thought, thought about it's like oh bottle store yeah okay they go to the bottle store <laughs> But I can tell you that, I mean, we talk a lot about the quick spot, but come and see the tops. And, and uh, we've done some amazing stuff there. I, I mean, our, our team are fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we want to offer something that's different and special. We wish we could offer more if we had more space, but, yeah. but uh, well, got, it's, it's a pride and joy. Because it was oh, Nick's Cafe, he had that whole thing, and then he had the, the, the dry cleaner and the stuff. I think you've taken all that whole building, and, and, and you've made it beautiful. I mean, you see the whole roof has changed. You've got that whole, uh, yeah. all, all the signage on the roof. It looks amazing. And then there's like this tops that goes, and this huge fridge in there. It's like a yeah, look, I mean, something I learned when I was up in, in Joburg and, uh, um, and something that we did that worked with very well is try and get, when you open a liquor store as best as you can, to go 50% in the, in, in the Kutchula and 50% on, the, on the sales floor. So if you 200 squares, go 100, 100. Yeah. I can't exactly go there. I've got 100 in the front and I've got about 80 in the back. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. effectively our, our Chilla is our old top store. So the whole yeah. top store has now become the Chilla. Yeah. And I try to create a mirror of what you've got on this on the floor. You can push a trolley in there. You okay. can walk through there, and you can shop it like you're shopping. Get in the front. A bit cold. Yeah, and that's the whole yeah. point of it. And that and yeah. that in any store we we've done that has really worked very okay. very well. Okay. So we're growing in excess of 45, 50 percent wow. on what we were trading before. That's amazing. Um, and that's I'm, amazing. I'm still not satisfied. I'd like to get a little bit more, yeah. but we're getting there. But it just shows what 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 the change in look and feel can actually actually do. You know, for for anything really. You know, it's 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 that that new injection, that new feel, and new look. Yeah, the psychology of shopping is quite weird. I mean, yeah. I've studied that for. 30 years really? and not on purpose it's just yeah. something that i've learned over the years i mean duncan will tell you the same thing he's done yeah. the same thing in beacon Isle down in plet i mean and, yeah. and in his other super spot but it's just you got to just get what are the, the minds of the customers you yeah, know you well. got to give them what they're looking for you got to make them feel comfortable you know and and you got to know them and and yeah. understand who your market is and, and offer them that you know that's what it's all about i mean you walk into a place and i mean it's almost like a science you know those poor customers have got no chance <laughs> Yeah, you got to. I mean, and you got to be yeah. brave. Eh? I mean, yeah. you got to be brave about what you do, and and, yeah. and 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 sometimes you try something new and it doesn't work. Then you just move on and you just yeah. try something. And, else. and uh, 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 do you think that I mean, Spa has 
didn't really get involved in the whole, uh, uh, early anyway, in, in the delivery story. Spa's always been, you go to the spa and you go and find what you need. Yeah, you know, you know I'm, it's quite weird how that is. I've been overseas and I've studied that. And, and just if, before COVID, from a delivery perspective, mm. and, 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 you know, um, I think if I remember correctly, the stats were like 1.5% of turnover yeah. was based around deliveries. And, yeah. you know, America and the, and the yes. UK. UK was a bit bigger because there was an older market. And when the okay. market's older, they don't want to come into yes. the store. So, but when COVID hit, yeah. it went up to 5%. Yeah. And then that's when Czech has picked uh, yeah. uh, yeah. the 60 60 market and yeah. these have latched on and now pick and pay. And uh, yes, yeah. we are a little bit slower. It's yeah. a little bit different. Our model is different. We've yeah. got to, you know, we've got to please our, our corporate guys and we've got to please the retailers. Yes. So it does take a little bit longer. Yeah. We've got our Spa to You app now that's, that's yes, starting to that. take a bit of, uh, uh, it's going to have its teething problems, I'm sure. Yeah. And I think yeah. there's frustrations. I am going to go onto it. I've signed okay. up. Okay. Uh, I'll probably go in, in, in end of June somewhere on there yeah. that we'll have it available so that our customers can order via the app and they can order their, their stuff from our store. Yeah. But it's, I find it interesting because it, it's actually, um, for, for some of the other retailers which actually own all their shops, you know, the company that owns everything, uh, they can easily just install something like that. You say everybody has to be a part of it. Whereas Spa has certainly still got, and it's, it's, so, it's good in so many ways, but it can be a disadvantage like in this way, where, where, where they are, the stores are, are owned by the, by the people, you know, they're, they're owned by old Greek families or, you know, the Greeks or the Portuguese guys or, the, you know, the retailers own their, their shops. Yeah, look, that's why the models work so well. Yeah, I yeah. mean, in this country, particularly, our models work better than anywhere else in the yeah. world. I mean, it's, it's an international brand. And I mean, yeah. in many countries across the world, 50% of the stores are owned by corporate. So yeah. like a check is a pick and pay okay. and a Willis kind of model. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. in South Africa, it's very much based around the retailer owns, the retailer the owns it. Yeah. And we know our business better. We can move yeah. faster. Yes. It's one thing that I did, I thought about when I was still in the uh, in the opposition, I worked for Woolworths for 10 years. Yeah. And uh, one thing that I, I remember about Spa, but before I joined the group was, yes, is how quickly they can move. I remember when Alicia in Newton Park and Sunridge yeah. and those stores, what was actually not Sunridge, yeah. it was Newton Park and one of two others that went to Super Spa. Yeah. I think it was in about 2000. Yeah. And I thought, geez, like, like that, they changed the, and things wow. happen so quickly. Yeah. I think as retailers, sometimes we think things happen too slowly. But yeah. I think if, if you're looking at it from the outside, things yeah. do move quite quickly from yeah. that perspective. Fast, we yeah. can change our stores, yes. mirrors who we are as retailers. Yeah. So, you know, my store is who I am. Yeah. Um, and and a you lot have of to care retail, about it. It's not sure. just a manager that's been slotted yeah. in there. It's like, like you, you are, you're so invested in that. You, you have to make it work. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it is. I mean, it's scary. It's yeah. very, very scary. <laughs> sure. You make a big investment and I'm still learning. My baby is still an infant, you know, yes, still sucking yes. a dummy. And, yeah. <laughs> and somebody very close to me that told me that not so long ago now that just, just be patient. It's still a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. It's true. Yeah. It's one year, Mike. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not be. exactly the most patient person. No. <laughs> Sorry, Lindy, no, but no, that's you married not. to me, but that's who I am. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> Lindy will know. Is he patient, Lindy? Is he? <laughs> Mind you, my, my nickname at Spa by the by the ex CEO Brett Botton was yeah. Lightspeed. That was my light speed. He used to call me Lightspeed. Everything, Everything happened too quickly. You know? <laughs> Sometimes too quickly for my own group. Except oh, on the bike. I'm not that far. Yes. No, no, no. no. He's, you're, you're strong. <laughs> We're going to talk about the cycling. No, no. But okay, so, well, well let's go. I mean, we, we've spoken about the spa now. So let's have a quick look at some of those um, those comments as well. There's still more coming up there. See Keith Clark saying, charge your glasses. We've got it. we got it going on, yeah. we got uh, we got a little, a little bit of extra... Uh, we've got a, 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 a wide variety of stuff. I saw here. this. I saw this here. Thank you. I, you know, Duncan, yeah, I don't know if we should be telling the story because it implicates you as well. He's, yeah. Duncan's asking, and what about the time he missed the first nine holes of the Spa Mystery Golf Tour at Fancourt? Uh, <laughs> what I, happened there? All Did I can you? say is I missed the first nine holes uh, of, all right, of, was, of the Mystery Golf Tour. It's so nothing to do with the night before. I can tell you the story. Was I'll tell you why, but we drank too much. It's, yes. It's just, uh, Keith, because then we charged our glasses too much. <laughs> Duncan, you were involved. Um, we got to bed at, oh, I don't know what time it was, half past four in the morning, whatever the case was. There were four of us. The three of the guys that were in the four were in one four ball. So that didn't matter. <laughs> Kippy uh, was in the four ball with the retail operations director and the chairman of the guild. Oh, my um, okay. And when I woke up at uh, eight o'clock, 
uh, in the morning and my tea off time was <laughs> quarter to seven. <laughs> I had nine missed calls from the retail operations director and guild chairman and two phone calls from my boss. <laughs> so um, I thought I'd lost my job that day and uh, I hope that the wimpy that I owned at the time would be able to pay me enough oh, just well, to survive. Really? And I joined them on the ninth on the ninth hole. Yeah. Jeez. Like, yeah. <laughs> is that Martin Weber? Is that saying? Yeah, Marty, Marty. I don't know if you're listening, but uh, someone uh, saying Martin. And I didn't. I didn't say your name. Somebody tagged you there, but uh, but, but uh, uh, Marty, I promise you, um, uh, yeah, yeah, you'll remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh, and then and the worst thing was when we woke up the next day to go and play golf. Our Golf clubs were in the boot of a car that was gone to the airport. So we oh, didn't even have bloody golf clubs to play. So, it was a disastrous how, how good is that? Peter Barnes, there we go, even made my tea off time. He said, I can't believe that, Peter. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you the story because I hope, yes. I wonder if Mark Heldenace is listening. Now, Mark yes. Heldenace. Someone was, tag him as He well. was in the room next to me. Yes. And so we got, I think we got to bed at, it was six o'clock. That's in the early, morning. In the morning. So we got there. <laughs> so we thought we'll wake um, uh, Mark Heldenace. I can't remember who his roommate was. Might have even been Peter. I don't know. Okay. And we knocked on the, banged on the door at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and Mark Heldenace thought I was waking him up for his tea off time. Oh, because he thought he was late. But when he, opened the door and looked at me up and down and suddenly realized I still had the same kit on that I had on the night before. He tried to close the door and, <laughs> and we, we burst in and turned his bed upside down and made a big spectacle and then we went to bed and was like... Oh yeah, and then so mate, the still after yeah. that, I see Roseanne's on his line so as well. She says, Mikey, uh, what goes on tour stays on tour. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't <laughs> seem like Rosie. Now look, that that's a, a very well-known story that yes, we, we, no. we can tweak. No, we don't tell the other stories, Rosie. And Rosie, please uh, put a put a link to the um, to the run. I've done some advertising for that as well. Put a link to the run in the in the comments as well, so we can share it for you. Duncan, thank you. That uh, Duncan says, as retailers, we don't have bosses to worry about yeah. anymore. Exactly why I can yeah. tell that story now. I don't yes, have to worry. About <laughs> don't have to worry. <laughs> I'm my own boss. Who oh, cares? Who was your boss at that time? Conrad Isaac. Conrad. <laughs> and he was phoning me for something completely different. He didn't even know about it. Thank God. <laughs> I just, just can't get it. Must be on the golf course. Meantime, he's still <laughs> snoozing. Oh, my soul. That is so hectic. I don't know. That, I mean, because I've done a, uh, the mystery golf tours with a big thing as well. What, how does that work? The mystery? Yeah, you know, the mystery golf tour, I started, I actually started it in the Eastern Cape many years ago. Build it. The Build it. The Build it guys. Start, they did it for a while. Okay. And, uh, Rob Lister. Uh, Rob Lister and the boys and they did a and I went on a somebody asked me I don't know which MD it was at the time and I was working and they said no go and see what the build it mystery golf tour is about and bring it back and they started it as well. Okay. KZN was doing it quite successfully at okay. the time Clinton Nicholson and I think he was very involved in that and okay. they were doing it very successfully so we started that I think oh, 13 14 maybe 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, and it ran very successfully until somebody at some point said no 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 this we're going to stop this now so it was okay. stopped cold turkey and then the retailer said bugger you we're going to carry on going. So <laughs> I think Keith Simpson Simo, you know Keith Simo will do anything for yeah. he <laughs> started is. it up again and I think it's okay. running again now but I'm yes. not sure how close the re uh, I know Mark Heldenace is very involved in it and okay, he's from the still. DC so okay. yeah so it's still happening okay. oh, so good. Good. effectively how it works is is that you invite the retailers to this tour and their suppliers yeah. that come with yeah. and normally 48 52 depending on how many people go yeah. on it but they have no idea where they're going. Where they're going. Yeah. So, so, so I've done a couple of those until things. They go, and until they, and, get there. and yeah. they get there. And then, it's, and then they don't know what the hell's going on. We, even where they're going to end up. It's amazing. I see Rosie's uh, put the put the Spa Women's Race there as well. We can put that up. It's the spawomensrace.co.za. If you haven't entered already, make sure that you do. It's going. It's on the Sunday morning, if I'm not mistaken. And um, and it's and it's live now. We've got we got finally be back to like <coughs> like a full on yeah, live run. Yeah. We've had to have virtual runs and all sorts of stuff. And 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 the spa ladies race at that time as well was was just such a it was such a great thing. There was so many so many people coming down there. And there we go. Ooh, hello, panty dropper. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. You'll never let this one go. <laughs> What's Do I that? need to tell yes. a story about that? You have to tell a story. What is that? That hello, sounds yeah, very hello. interesting here. That. Yeah, <laughs> look, I'm getting old now, so I'm not so much of a panty dropper anymore. Mm -hmm. But it, it has nothing to do with me. Oh, oh, right. It had something to do with a car that I was driving at the time. Oh, it was a nice a car. Black Audi, whatever oh, it was, S-Line, and a uh, low profile, probably blue lights underneath. <laughs> 
And the others seem to think that, well, I oh, don't know. She commented or I commented. And she, she said, well, that's a real panty. Yeah, it's a panty dropper. <laughs> and that must be, oh, I don't know. I'm also a bit of a panty, but I've got those big pink ones that I can uh, put, pull on and off. I've got big pink panties. You put, them, you put them on the right way around. No, no, never, never, never. no, that's another story. Um, no, we can get into cycling a bit because I, I quite like that. We've been there. We go. The show is PG eighty. You're right. You're right. The panty droppers. Twenty seventh of May. There we go. Twenty seventh of May, um, and and it's a it's it's a full on live event now. So it's going to be very lekker. I'm, I'm, I look forward to that. Um, so, so we, we ride um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have a go. It was myself and and and, uh, and and you you invited me on with a couple of your mates there, Brad and Tom, the guys. And um, it's been such fun, you know, for me as well to get back into a bit of exercise and going again. And um, I mean, uh, uh, it, and it's early morning, so these guys don't mind getting up at like five o'clock in the morning. It's like it's hectic. But uh, the other morning, I was I woke up. At ten to five, and I had to get. Uh, it takes me. It takes me at least fifteen minutes to get to where we need to where we start. And I was late, so I was in the dark. I put in my stuff, and I got it, and I get there. And, and they, they've they've left already because I was late, so they didn't know. If they thought I wasn't coming. So off I go. Then I'm chasing them all the way down around Marine Drive, and 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 uh, I get around the other side, and and finally we we got a, a, a quick spot, and we have some coffee there in the mornings. They open early, so lucky for the cyclists to come past there and have a bit of coffee. Beautiful, and I get there, and I chat to them, and everything, I, 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 and 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 we and we say, oh, it's great, you know, I, I finally caught up with the guys, and you know, I get home. And Philippa says to me, what the hell are you wearing? And I've got, my entire kit is inside out. You must understand the cycling gear has got like all sorts. It's got like this chamois stuff inside. It was all on the outside. <laughs> I did not even know. You weren't there that morning. I would have noticed. I'm telling He's you. He's the only one who would have noticed that. I don't know. So now they, they now I've, I've, I have to tell you the story about, about the seven dwarves time trial. Because yes, yes. This is the second time it's happened on our group. Yes. The first time it happened with a friend of ours, Brad. And um, Brad, I hope you're listening. And if you're yeah. not tag Brad, Saunders, <laughs> Brad's a techno peasant, probably doesn't have Facebook. <laughs> but uh, oh, he doesn't answer his phone. <laughs> so, But Brad arrived late that morning and, and uh, Tom and I left and off we went. And he phoned me and said he's at the top of Target Cliff. I said, well, you can catch me. Catch us. We'll wait for you. Yeah. We'll ride slowly. We'll ride slowly. So we ride slowly. We ride slowly. He doesn't come. He doesn't come. And we turned around. We went all the way back. To church road eventually yeah um and no bread so we went yeah. and we rode around summer strand once we missed our ride completely and had coffee <laughs> when brad arrived at the at the shop to have a cup of coffee he'd done the whole marine <laughs> yeah. so uh, we've got the story about a uh, grumpy and i'm 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 grumpy the one seven dwarf and yeah. and, and uh, Tom always oversleeps, so he's sleepy. Sleepy. And uh, that morning, Brad became dopey. <laughs> so, so it's now is this the Seven Dwarfs time trial? I'll have to be uh, happy. So now, so now, uh, so we're gonna have to give uh, Gino a name. Yeah, right? I'll, be so, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. I think you dopey. I'll put him. I'll be probably. But yo, uh, you guys need a GoPro so you can actually see what's happening on these early morning cycles. Yes, sir. Roseanne, it is beautiful. And you know what? Um, cycling, I, I've, I've always been a runner and um, and and I always like scoffed at the cyclists because I was riding. You know, everybody's got the, 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 car, the cars and cycle, the cycling, is, uh, they've always got this fight going on. And when you're cycling, you realize how how close those cars come to you. Like, you like, you, you actually you can't believe that the oaks but when you're riding in a car you know you, they always say you've got to keep that 1.5 meters you know 1.5 meters and and it, it's so it, it you know you've got this uh it, it, it's it's great it's, it's great exercise I'm, I'm so happy that i've that i've started you know that. you can be a very patient man you know my one friend that rides with him he's a very patient man he's a gentleman of note but let a car hoot at him he turns into a different person and I, I, I don't even think he's, he pulls the signs out of his fingers i don't know where they come from <laughs> he can shout and scream at a lot of people but, know, it's, but it's, it's but very it's beautiful in the morning especially in the summer you ride we we, we started five five o'clock because it's um and a lot of guys if you cycle as well you know you, you cycle in the morning because there's no traffic because you don't want the cars so you go around that marine drive and then as you're riding around there, the sun starts to come up it's the most it's beautiful sight you've ever seen now in the winter it's a bit dark you know yeah there's no sun there's no sun now you get <laughs> we get home in the dark as well <laughs> by the time it's getting light we get to the spa and we have in our coffee 
Yeah, that's one thing that I missed about being up in Joburg for five years is yeah. that, uh, you know, coming back to PE, and I mean, I can say that, it's something that I don't think people that haven't, that lived in PE for all their lives or have been here for a long time don't realize what we've got. Oh, well, yeah. I think maybe most of us do, and the people that I know, I think do. Yeah. But we've got the most incredible place to, to, to live, to do the sport that we love, to and to live securely and happy. Yeah. I mean, in Joburg, you've got to have fences around you. Yeah. You've, got to have, you've got to live in these secure complexes. Yeah, we can live still and live in homes like normal people, you know, and yeah. do our cycling and go out, feel safe. Yeah. It's a wonderful place to be. So good to it be is. there. It is. I absolutely love it. Anna. So, so you, I mean, well, let's go now into your history. So where where uh, born where where did you come from? <laughs> I was born in the Eastern Cape, believe it or oh. not. Yeah, so I was born in a place called Lady Grey, and those of you Lady that, Grey, uh, those of you that that's know a first Grey, for it's us. In a, it's in a farming community. There's there's some stigma around Lady Grey, but oh, is it? What, yeah, what is no, that? I won't talk about that. Because uh, the bad things. Yeah. No, no, not bad things. Okay. So I, we weren't there for very long, and then we moved to a place called McClear. Um, McLear, and, and some of our retailers, our good retailers, come from McLear yes. in the area. Some wonderful people, salt of the earth people. Mm. And then we moved to a place called Matatiel, which uh, most of you might not know, but it's the East Greek land and it's the bottom of Lesotho and the end, okay. edge of Transkei. We grew up there for about 15 years and then I went to boarding school in Peter Maritzburg. So I was a wow. boarder um, in a school called okay. Alexander High. And then okay. that's when we stayed in the case in KZN. My folks moved to to Peter Merritt's. So what what, what, what age was that that you started at? at uh, uh, I was the, twelve when I started. At the so so after junior school, basically yeah, I you went were to high school. Four. I went to high school in oh, Peter high school. In Peter so yeah. so in your junior school, where was that? School? In Matatiel. In Mat what yeah. is the school called? It's called King Edward King Edward High School. Still King there. Edward School. Yeah, my sister still lives there. And she's a teacher really? there. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, still yeah. a nice little school. There. Oh. You know, I haven't been there for a while. No, I have. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, still, it's still going. Yeah, it's still <laughs> I don't know. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I know the, all these schools always have a hard time, but but the um, I find that the teachers, the teachers are uh, teachers are ge generally good people. They, I, 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 I do believe that that there's there's something about about teachers that that makes them become teachers that that. Is, that, that, is, that is a good uh, personality traits, good character traits. You know, uh, you know. I don't know. I don't know a lot of horrible teachers. Maybe, maybe you know. A lot of people are going to shoot me down here because they're yeah. I mean, school. I mean, teachers are amazing people, patient yeah. people. Patient I people. mean, it's it, it's it's a career that you've got to love. It's yeah. not a career that you you know it's going to you know shoot lights up. It's like you've got to love it, and it's a passionate thing. You know, it's so, when you choose stuff. Yeah, like when, you, when you, yeah. like who chooses like I, I often think like who chooses to be a politician, because you know what kind of person you know decides no I want to be I want to be a politician. Uh, politicians that are that are roped in that's probably a better way to go. Because <laughs> you know, like who wants to be a bouncer? The guys that want guns or or, or you know all well, the big guys. Who wants to be a security yeah. guard? I, I always worry about that. Like. Like the guy that wants to have the guns all the time. Like you don't want that guy to be a security. You want to just take random guys. <laughs> Let's have a look at some of the, um, the comments here while we while we've got a little bit of a gap. Yeah, yeah. I just I just thought we had a quick quick look before we go go on with it. Uh, Rita Piki had a PE last year in uh, November and love it. Um, this side is beautiful, fresh air, different from the, the wind blows the blows the pollution away. Uh, um, and uh, and don't even dream of going back here, yeah, right? Well, I dream so, about it, but it's a not, it's normally a nightmare. Nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Matatiel Junior School. Yeah, you, then I went to high school, that. Alex, and then um, I, I left school a long time ago, and then I went and tried to study. Um, okay. I think I'm smarter than that, but I yes. clearly wasn't. <laughs> So I studied a Technicon in Durban and I okay. went to res there and then I had a little flat for the first year and yeah. didn't like that too much didn't and then I went, came home to Maritzburg and okay. started working with my dad mm -hmm. um, and studied part-time through UNISA okay. and in that year they changed the, the Defence Army thing, yes, uh, the conscription, to, okay. to one year. And I thought, yeah, here's my gap. Because, yeah, I mean, one year only. Yeah, I don't want it to change back again. It's like so your jail I sentence. My gap and I went and did my army for a year. Um, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a wonderful year. Yeah. Um, actually started, really started cycling quite a bit in that year. The army. A lot of, lot of cycling. I was in really? Bethlehem and we, I met two guys. That, wow. That's where I learned to speak Afrikaans, actually, because okay. the two guys I cycled with could not speak one word of English. <laughs> and I could not speak one word of Afrikaans. And we spent a lot of time together. So <laughs> somewhere along the line, somebody had to communicate. Yeah. 
Um, and then, uh, and then that's actually where I met my wife. But we'll talk about that. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, which yeah. Was 1991. 90, no, well, we actually got engaged then. We met in 1988. We met in 1988. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. And then, um, and then I started working for my dad. So, so how, how old were you then? Uh, Twenty. Uh, I was 20, 21 in nineteen ninety one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So then I started working for my dad. Um, he had a bus company, public transport, and a taxi business and a service station. And I ran the the, the transport side. My brother was my, involved with my dad in the service station. So we were okay. a family was going so big, drink. Quite a lot of stuff there. Yeah, were, we were. We, 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 we were talking before. Is it, it was like a taxi business. It, it's a taxi yeah, it's store. funny. It's funny that this, the history of that is 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 amazing. It's yeah. called Junior Taxis, and they started in the Second World War. This is in Durban now. Peter Masbury. And they started in the Second World War because when right. the husbands all went to the war, yes. the, the mothers couldn't get the kids to school. So. Oh. Taxi business started to take the kids to school. That's, okay. that's the, the name Junior Taxis. And it, that 40, 1940, In the 40s. So that's a long time ago. Imagine the old cars. Yeah, yeah can you imagine? <laughs> so in those Did days. You have a fleet? And then it just grew from there. And we, it was a fleet of about, I think there was about 10 or 12 cars at the okay. time. Okay. All bright yellow. Like oh, really? All bright yellow taxis. Okay. So he ran that for a while. He would plan to retire and take over that. And, but yeah. my dad like me, I think, just entrepreneur, just yeah. wanted to grow, bought a service station. And then uh, Peter Marisburg didn't have a public transport service at all. So we started a public transport company and yeah. I ran that. As, buses as, as or what? Buses, yeah. But proper, like but up to, buses. Yeah, up to the, uh, the biggest, we the biggest buses we had weren't the 64-seaters. Okay. We had the, like the, I think the 50-seaters, that sort of size. So we That's ran the right. public transport for, yeah. for quite a few years. Um, yeah. But public yeah. transport... Through the 90s run, then, then? Yeah, that was early 90s, eh? Wow. 90, 1990, 1991, uh, 1992. That's the yeah, buses buses yeah. concertina buses and that. They used to have a, a company called KwaZulu Transport in those days, okay. and it just was, it just folded. It was useless. Okay, okay. And then we filled the gap for a well, while. Can't work without some kind of subsidy. Okay. And the council, we sat in many council meetings, just didn't get the subsidy. We eventually oh. dissolved that part of okay. the company. And when we did that, then I went out and I, I looked for work. And that was okay. in 1993 when I joined I joined Woolworths. Woolworths, okay. Yeah. And okay. Then, since then, I've been in retail. You also, re and you learned it. Uh, but uh, did, did that, that um, uh, your, your dad's company put you in good stead for that, that Woolworths job? Yeah, I think, I think what my dad taught me in those days was just, about how to deal with people and and i mean he's yeah. a people's person he's where did he come from as well Where's your dad? he was in the bank he okay. joined the standard bank and that's wow. why we traveled so much and okay. he was a, a a bookkeeper and accountant okay. for the standard bank okay. and then he started his own business in matatio a, 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 a service station a bp service station okay. and he sold in those days chevrolets okay so, cars and chevrolet, yes. you know? so he sold cars and okay. uh my grandfather was also in the in the in the car business. He started Key Delta in Pine Town. Wow! Um, so okay. in those days, he was yes. also in the car business. Okay. So we've come from that kind of industry. Yes, my, yes. my younger brother was also in the car industry for many many years. He's now with the Spa Group okay. as well. But he okay. not. But he was, okay. he was. So we've always grown up in that kind of environment, entrepreneurial environment. Uh, entrepreneurial. So so it's that 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 kind of hustling thing that that has become so pre with with COVID has become. Such a good skill to have, you know. Yeah, I think it's all about discipline, eh? and it's mm. about discipline and being and, and and being involved in your business. Yeah. The best retailers and the best spa retailers, and there are so many of them, yeah. that are involved directly in their business yeah. every single day. Um, another another great retailer friend of mine said to me that he doesn't need to train his staff formally. He just needs to spend time with them and that's the best yeah. training that they have. And I, and, I, and I love that because yeah. that is so true. Yeah. You spend a day on the floor with your retail, your, your customers and your staff, yeah. especially your staff. Yeah. They learn and they can teach each other so much. And yeah. it's the involvement. It's If you're involved in your business, yeah. it definitely does. It's, it's it like a team, you know, and it, it, any, anything, they always try and drive this whole yeah. team thing, you know. It's like a, 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 because it because it pulls people together and, and, and it allows them to, to care about it, you know. I see um, the road from Goth, Goth um, Webster saying the road from Matatiel to Queenstown is magnificent. I kept looking for Peter and Heidi. <laughs> Peter! In, Ooh, in my did. days, when we used to drive that road, Garth, it was dirt road. It was a dirt really? road. In fact, in fact, when I was two years old, my mom and dad and I, I was in the car with them. I don't know where my brothers and sister was. But uh, we had a very bad car accident on that road wow. uh, when I was two years old. So, and that was the road from uh, Matatiel to Queenstown. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, through the, uh, the there's passes the through area. Mount Fletcher and all those kind of places. Yeah. Now it's a beautiful torrent. It's probably the yeah. fastest way to get from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town. Oh, is it? If you okay. go that route. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, it's lovely. I mean, Eastern Cape is just beautiful. I mean, there's so, so much potential um, for not only for PE, but for Eastern Cape is just amazing. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, people that come here, I mean, I, I remember a, a, one of the DJs, I can't remember which one it was, yeah. he said that this... Oh, the uh, armpit uh, thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if, uh, PE is the armpit of South Africa. It's somebody who put it But there. so what? Let it be Cliff, Gareth Cliff. Yeah, let him say that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the best kept secret. But yeah. I, I've seen people this week. Just this week, in fact, yesterday and today, that have said the complete opposite. They said, yeah, yeah they can't believe Port Elizabeth, how keen it is. Okay, yeah. the wind blows most of the stuff. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Collect some of it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But, but it is clean. And it is yeah. now, thank goodness, they're fixing the potholes. There's no potholes. Well, anymore. I noticed and that a whole toll cliff's there. been cleaned yeah. up. Um, so, I mean, and I think the, the mayor's going. Some amazing stuff. Yeah. He's, he's going full taps because he wants, to, I think he wants to see, you know, wants to get that, yeah. that, that support as well, which he needs to do. So um, now, uh, 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 Gary's Gary's slots on some questions here. You see that one there. He says hunting. I know uh, it's a it's a, a touchy subject. Uh, the hunting stories, you know. Uh, and and uh, and Alan Vay was it Alan Vay that was um, was talking about the uh, ethical hunting, you know, uh, for for um, uh, conservation and stuff as well. And that's got a part to play. But, play. Uh, Always a part to play mm. because I mean you've got to keep the numbers down. I mean mm. I, I don't know too much about that, but I, I can tell you that there is certain parts of it. I mean there's no ways I'm going to be ever involved in shooting things that are uh, uh, like the yeah. giraffes and the lions and all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. It just doesn't that doesn't yeah. fit me. But I, I mean I, I enjoy the outdoors. Mm. It doesn't matter what what we yeah. do. Um, and if I go on a hunt, if there is any time that I go and I don't yeah. shoot anything, that's also fine. Yeah. Know? But, uh, you know, you just listen to the grass and, the, and yeah. you're out with your mates. And, I mean, anywhere where you're going with a good group of people and salt of the earth people, yeah, yeah, whether yeah. you're on a hunt or whether you're on a bicycle, yeah. actually doesn't matter. But, you yeah. know, the hunting just becomes part of it. And a lot of it is yeah. to, is, is about keeping the, the numbers right, keeping yeah. the... You know, keeping and the, the, the outdoors. Mean, a lot of guys is, will tell you that. You know, the so. outdoors is it's, it's such a it is a popular thing yeah. here in Eastern Cape, and, and there are a lot of places that that are that are running purely on the hunting as well, which is is keeping the keeping those places in in the money, so that they can yeah. get those well, too, you know, know, those American mm -hmm. oaks coming over. They could, you know, I, could, I I get that. You know, yeah. I do. I do. I, I would. I would. If I was aiming, there, I probably might miss on purpose once or twice. Though. Yeah, I'm, scared. I'm not going to say anything about that now because I mean, there's, there's guys on, online yeah, that are very good hunters and can shoot very straight. Yeah. So I'll, just, I'll just keep going. <laughs> right. I won't say anything. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so, so uh, and anything else that you, that, 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 you, that, that interests you that, that, you, that look, you think? Uh, no? no, look, I mean, you know, I've, I've spent so much time in retail for 30 yeah. years. Um, I think... I know a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I understand a little bit about what makes it work. Uh, I've learnt. I've had the I've had the the fortunate uh, position to have been in where I've been part of the group and seen retailers yeah. come and go, success and failure. So yes, yes. when there's failure and when there's success, you've got to learn. You've you got to understand what, what made it good yeah. and what didn't. You know, and yeah. and if you if you if you're very clever and you're smart and you and you put those into practice, then yeah. you hopefully then you will make a good go of your own business. Yeah. You know? It's never really been something that I'd planned. I must be honest yeah. with you. I never really. I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. It's yeah. in my blood. So and my wife said to me, "Why are you worried about having to bought the spa? Yeah, that's always what you wanted to do in any yeah. case." So, yeah. but I had visions of being somewhere at the head of a. a corporate company at some point yeah. in your life, you know. <laughs> so things change, you know. Yeah, yeah. You've got to accept those things yes. and, and move on and, and and enjoy them as you go along. So, in, in your life, yeah. I mean, your whole, I mean, you're, you're, uh, and we talk about uh, your, your family, Lindy. I mean, uh, you say you met in 88. Yeah. Uh, when did you matriculate? 87. 87, okay. Yeah, okay. we actually probably did meet somewhere along the line before that. Okay. Uh, there's lots of stories about how she Lindy She in Durban. Peter, Peter Marisburg Girls High and... Uh, um, yeah, we met. Uh, it was I saw her in a nightclub. Oh, and she was nice. at a distance. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. with a very old school friend of mine, and uh, I said to him, "Do you know that girl?" He said, uh, "Yes, she was a junior school with me." I said, "Do you know that girl there? I'm going to marry her." 
Uh, no, that was four years later we got married. So goals, huh? yeah, yeah, we had goals. Um, <laughs> I wonder if Lindley, Lindley agreed with that. I mean, what was your, what I was your phone, take? I phoned her not so long after that, and I said, "Do you remember meeting me?" She couldn't remember who she I was. She, had, went through, she went through all these names of all these people, and I thought, "Oh my God, I've got no chance." Yeah, I mean, she's got all these men running after. Her. Oh really? <laughs> anyway, but uh, um, hopefully, I swept her off her feet. And, yes. uh, Thirty-one years later, we've wow. we're still married. Yeah. And so, so you married? Yeah. So you married then? Nineteen ninety-two. Ninety-two. Gee. Yeah. So and and then um, and uh, your your children. Uh, yeah, we, you've met my yeah. daughter. She's uh, she's um, uh, yeah. she's just the most wonderful person in the world. She's listening, and I'm, I'm sure, and she'll probably say, "Oh, Dad, she's all embarrassed," but she is. She's the most. She's a gift from from heaven. Yeah. Uh, not even just a the one about. child. Spoiled rotten. Just the one child. Spoiled, Spoiled rotten. rotten yeah, but, only uh, child. She deserves it, and she's uh, she's writing a trick at the moment, and um, uh, uh, tough. She's yeah. finding it tough, but she's doing. She's making us proud. So yeah. you know, so, um, and she. I think that probably the proudest moment that any person could ever have yeah. is that your daughter of sixteen at the time stands up and speaks to a hundred people in a, in an audience, and those of you that were there would have heard her speak. It yeah. was the most incredible thing. Where was that? At our launch of our oh, the launch. Of, course, of course, of course, yeah. it's sixteen. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's memorable, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and I was thinking maybe it was before because uh, no. when she when was she sixteen? She's only she's only now she's seventeen now, of course. Yeah, so but, yeah, my girls are, are my life. I mean, I do yeah. everything for them, and um, yeah. they, they sometimes don't believe that because I'm not an easy person. So yes. yeah, but uh, and they uh, they probably I take a lot best. of your cuck because they no, they, they don't. Just, uh, no, they don't take my they yeah, give it well, back twice as much. They think that. they're the boss, but they're not. I'm surprised neither of them are commenting. Please comment. <laughs> <laughs> they can comment. Put, put in some comments. They've got any stories that they that you want to tell. But I think Mike is getting time for the getting to know you questions. I which is that's what we just no, that's kind of what we're doing. <laughs> but we but we've got some ones that are digging a bit into your personality. Let's hit it, Gary. Get to know you. Get to know all. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Mike, uh, what is something particularly spontaneous or irresponsible that you've done in your past? Well, that question is actually quite a double-sorted question because yeah. I don't do things spontaneously. Yeah, no, you can't do you things irresponsibly. Conservatively. So um, maybe spontaneous and irresponsible is buying quick spa on first. Uh, Yo. Maybe. Yeah. Well, uh, it couldn't have been spontaneous. But, to, to get into that much debt so quickly, Mike, it's just... Yeah, it's crazy. It's very irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally irresponsible. No, look, I, I, probably, I don't know, nothing really. I mean, if you know me well, I, I, don't, I don't really do those things. I'm very calculated. I do things quickly, but I think about them a whole lot. It's a golf it's day. pretty much organized, yeah. You know, yeah. the golf day when you went to bed at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's, that's spontaneous not, and It's very irresponsible. Yeah. Very, very yeah. irresponsible. Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay, um, what would be something that people would be surprised to know about you? To learn about you? Yeah, I'm a softie, eh? Uh, 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 <laughs> my dogs and my animals are, are like, you go. You like go. something that's just a way amazing for me. Oh, I speak you know, to Camilla Ellis, she's online now, she's her animals are everything as well. Yeah, and no, I just I just love my I love my dogs. We've got three and uh, um, so. You know, sometimes when people aren't watching, they'll see some some crazy things that I'll do again. But they, I talk to them; they talk back. Yes. So people don't really not lot not many people. My close friends do, yeah, and yeah. Uh, they they mean a lot to me. So yeah. you know, that's I suppose something surprising. I'm a yeah. bit of a softie when it comes okay. to specifically animals and okay. dogs in particular. They just yeah. uh, there's just something about them. Well, Alicia is going to love that. Somebody tag Alicia as well because she loves that stuff. The dogs, it's but it's amazing. Like dogs are. They, they are genetically, um, uh, over the last millennium or whatever, a couple of millenniums, they've, they, they, they've developed and, and, and been bred into manipulating humans. Oh, no, flat out. <laughs> I mean, all three sleep in the bed with us. I mean, uh, as, much as, as much as they make us uncomfortable, they're there. Well, you're one of those guys that said that out. dogs will never sleep in my bed. No, I've never said that. No, I was one of those guys. <laughs> I was totally, I was like, never, I'll never have a dog sleeping on <laughs> Both dogs, be, pff, uh, we bug it, we bug it, because no ways. Um, the most physically painful thing that you've ever experienced. Oh, God, it's happened not so long ago. <laughs> yes. We'll have to tell the story. Yes. I slipped in the bathroom about three weeks ago. 
Hey, it yeah, was yeah, physically yeah. the most painful thing. I broke my toe. I broke my foot. Um, I'm still suffering with a with back problems. I hit my head on the toilet and broke the clips off the toilet seat. You know, um, Mike, four o'clock in the morning. It, it's got to be more responsible. It must have been a horrific sight. I mean, uh, if anybody saw that, and, and well, certainly your wife you didn't see that. Visions. No, <laughs> I heard. I heard. Lindy said that she was sleeping through everything. She thought it was. Yeah, the she's a she's a she's a deep sleeper. <laughs> yeah. I'm the, I'm the big boss. There we go. And you didn't even hear him falling. He was in his hour of need. He was there. And where were you, Lindy? Where were you? <laughs> Camilla Ellis says the dogs talk back there. She says the dogs, they, they talk back to you. Do they really? Now? Absolutely. Absolutely. You guys are fooling yourselves. <laughs> okay. The hardest that you've ever worked. I can't say now because uh, I and now I work with my yeah. head uh, you yeah. know and that is difficult and hard but yeah. I think the hardest I've ever worked really is probably the five years I was in in, in the Joburg region and I worked okay. very hard there and it, it, that's that's just a different type of it's just I think during the two years of COVID yeah. was probably the time that that uh, that took a lot of out of most people you know yeah. And yeah. in a business where we're in where we involved in relationships and people yeah. and, and, in, and in the region I was in in South Rand, we had stores a thousand five hundred kilometers away you know and yeah. those people are lonely and I know South Rand's the biggest the biggest, the biggest um, DC yeah. in the whole yeah. country as far as yeah. it's only based in Gauteng but it's just covers yeah. just about yeah. every 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 well, province which yeah. is funny enough so th I think during that period of time it was tough and yeah. I don't think I've ever worked that hard you know, yeah, it was long hours and stressful. Okay. Yeah, so that's probably when it was. Okay, the most nervous that you've ever been. I think when I bought the quick spot. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh God. But I, I, so let's not go into that too much. But I think yeah. the, the next time was when I stood on the start line of the, the Iron Man on the beach. That was probably oh. the most nervous of. Really. And uh, <laughs> what made it even better for me, and I've got to tell the story yeah. because it's important. It fits into your story. Is yeah. that uh, myself and a, a friend of mine, Stephen Schaefer, we were standing yeah. on the oh, beach Stephen, yes. doing the doing the Iron Man together, and we looked at, in front of us, and the guy standing in front of us had his wetsuit on. Inside out. <laughs> now, those of you and a lot of you have done that before, and a lot of you have put a wetsuit on. It's hard enough putting it on the right, the right way. Right way Try and put a wetsuit on inside out. He managed it, this guy. Just before we started, and it just relaxed everybody. Everybody yeah. in the group, we got him. They all helped him, took his wetsuit off, and put it back on again, and then the, the gun went off. Jeez, I can't believe it. We got a five minutes, you're going to do it. <laughs> but probably, probably then was probably yeah, was was one of the most nervous times. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, you know, you've got this whole day of. Of yeah. stuff coming, eh? Yeah. Uh, 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 did you full Iron Man, half Iron Man? No, that was the full. Yeah. Full one? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well done. Yeah, is, uh, you're not allowed to talk. You're not supposed to talk about it. They say there's a like rule. Fight Club. The rule is, is that if two years after you've done Iron Man, you're not allowed to talk about okay. it. Okay. So let's, let's, it's like Fight let's Club. Let's not talk about it. Don't yeah. talk about Fight Club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, luckiest thing that's ever happened to you? Um, a soppy, but probably yeah. mine. Probably my family, wife. my wife and my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, lucky to get her and to have them both is very yeah. lucky every day. Very lucky. Yeah. Soppy, but th yeah. that's the truth. It's but a, and a, a relationship like that is also something that you you have to work on all the time. Uh, I, I think I think uh, I don't know if it's lucky with the relationship. I, I believe that 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 anybody can be with anybody as long as you are willing to yeah. give of yourself. You know, absolutely. You can do I it. Think I think they. I think they work harder than I. Yeah, yeah maybe they do. I think they do because <laughs> I'm more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> there, Lindy was. Uh, Lindy was on online there. I see uh, Lindy. Way, how's it? She's watching my boss from Motherwell P. Guys. Uh, hello, it. Lindy. How are you? Uh, lovely, lovely. Uh, so lovely. Staff. Yeah. Uh, you staff. Yeah. You got a good staff there. Ah, oh, wonderful, 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 wonderful people. All of them. Yeah. They, yeah. We've created this amazing culture, and, yeah. uh, and I just love working with them. It's it's yeah. it's an, it's been incredible. Um, How many people? Uh, look, a total staff of about 60, 65 people. Wow. It's a lot of people. Um, you know, when I started there, I told them all that that this is our business, and this is uh, you know we're on this bus and we're going in this direction. Let's stay on it, and let's yeah. you know if you want to if if you're happy to go in this direction, you're going to get you know you're going to get what you need and yeah. they've all climbed on and they uh, all of them are just coming to the fore there's some amazing 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 people in yeah. that business so you know yeah, good. we can't do it without them good well there we go Lindy. nice nice um 
some of your plans for the future? Yeah, it's changed a little bit, eh? Has it? Eh? Yeah, look, I mean, we, yeah. you know, you're in corporate forever and then you think yeah. you've had these visions of being, you know, this big, uh, big yeah. on somewhere or other and yeah. your plans change, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, you, everybody's got a kind of a romantic sort of side yes. to where they want to end up, <laughs> you know? I mean, I've always loved um, being by the sea. I'm not a beach person at all. Oh, no. The best, best day of my life was when my uh, physio said to me, because of my Achilles problem, I'm yeah. not allowed to walk on the beach. Oh, because well, I hate okay. the beach. Okay. But I love the sea. And, it's and beautiful so I've been by the coast, and, and so St. Francis has always been a, a yeah. happy place for us. Yeah. It's close by. A lot of my friends live there, and yes. there are a lot of, a lot of guys moving in. Gary the Brains there. Yeah, you've got a spot there. I've got a spot there. So, yeah, so, so retirement, you've got to start thinking about it. I know. Right? I know. Start talking crazy? about where you want to go. But I think my future is, is to provide for my child and, yeah. and, and provide for my family. Yeah. And uh, hopefully she follows in my footsteps. She'll make an incredible retailer, I yeah. think. I mean, she's got to decide that if she wants. <laughs> no pressure, Kelly. And no we've set pressure. up this business in that sort of way, and yeah. um, let's see. That's that's yeah. that's 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 my visions for the future. Okay. Just just to, just look after my family and my friends because yeah, they are my yeah. family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like her. Okay. Um, what makes you who you are? I've got a tough question. Yeah, one word: loyalty. Loyalty. Yeah. I think um, I talk about being honest and being, uh, you integrity, know, and, and yeah. having integrity and having all that kind of stuff. But I'm a very loyal yeah. person. So you'll yeah. find with me is that the people around me, you'll always get everything yeah. you can from me. And yeah. that's, you can't live this world without yeah. having these people that's around you. Know? So, that so it makes me who I am is, is just being the loyal person that, that you are. So mm. I'll always be loyal to the bike shop that I'll go to. I'll yeah. always be loyal to whoever, yeah. you know, yeah. and I, ex I don't expect it back, but yeah. I love it back because, yeah. you know, that, that's what it's about. You know? It is, so, it is. That, yeah. It's that community. You have to, you have, we, we, uh, we have to have this community around us that, that supports each other, support the local guys. What a heart full boss. Uh, what a heart full boss. Uh, love Bonnie. Ah, so Bonnie. Bonnie. <laughs> Bonelwa. <laughs> Bonelwa. So it's, uh, more staff there. Yeah. Lovely. She lovely. In the kitchen. She's hey, so wonderful. You've got some great baristas here with a the coffee. I love my coffee and, and your coffee is great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It's important. I mean, and a lot of us do coffee. I mean, Duncan, yeah. well, he's like, a, Dunk, I mean, you know, yeah. he, he gave my a coffee a thumbs up. And for Duncan to give my coffee oh, a good. thumbs up, then it must be good. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, you know, but it's important that. It's important yeah. that coffee is, it's a, an experience. You're a coffee guy. Yeah, I love you know? it. Oh, Coffee's all about the experience, not just yeah. about the coffee. But yeah. if the coffee tastes shit, then, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, no you gotta, it's got to be good. Yeah, it's got to be good. So we've got to do that properly. Yeah, you know? And yeah. that's, I based my business, a lot of my business around the that, coffee. that coffee machine yeah. there yeah it's great that's because you've got a little window there now we can just go with the bikes and pull in yeah we awesome. open at six in the morning at store and it opens at opposite six but we open the coffee shop at six and yeah. we keep it open for the guys to come in we get a lot of businesses a lot of people come there for their first cup of coffee in the morning brilliant i'll go fm supports us great oh, good. And <laughs> stuff and they, i mean they really do so you know we good. we're fortunate yeah oh, lekker, um, lekker, lekker. okay biggest irrational fear You're running out of money. <laughs> <laughs> it is irrational. That's quite irrational fear. <laughs> what is an irrational fear? Like, like, I don't know, spiders or things. I suppose something that's, that's like, that, that, that some people, a lot of people snakes. have said that. Snakes. Oh, I'm petrified of snakes. Really? Any I can't snakes, even watch Even snake non-poisonous snakes. Any snake. Really? Yeah. No, that's irrational, no. Yeah. No, you need to, you need to, we need to I, speak I, to Mark Marshall. I, I cannot stand to, him. And you know, funny enough, the other day we had a customer that bought a bag of wood mm. and uh, he comes out and he puts it in the car and he, as he puts the bag in the car, he looks inside, there's a live snake inside the bag in, of wood in the plastic. Oh my God. So he comes and he, he says, there's a snake in my bag. I said, don't bring it. In. <laughs> I don't care who you think, just take it somewhere else. We have another, we have another we, bag. And we got Mark there and he, and he oh. came in and we thought it was a cobra because it looked like that. But any snake to me looks like a bloody cobra. Yeah, yeah. And it was, I don't know, it was a harmless thing, but it, okay. it was still a live snake in a bag. Oh was in my oh shop. goodness. Can you believe it? Yeah. That firewood. No, yeah, I suppose I'm, that's I'm a chance to take. Anything like that ever happened? Any crazy stories about the shops? I mean, customers. I mean, you know. Nah, you know, you, you, you've asked me this question and I, yeah. know, I can tell you a joke about it. Oh, about yeah, a shop. Sure. It's this, this old lady comes into the shop and she's insisting on buying a half a pawpaw. Yeah. So she goes to the manager and she says, 
I want a half a porpoise. So the guy says, sorry, ma'am, we only sell whole porpoise. We don't sell half porpoise. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. she says, but you don't understand. I'm old. I'm on my own. I live on my own. I only want half a porpoise. She says, I'm sorry, ma'am. We don't sell half porpoise. only sell whole porpoise. So anyway, so she starts to get a bit irate. And now, you know, the old people, they get angry. And she says, no, I, I want to. She says, he says, just to buy himself some time. He says, no, I'll tell you what. I'll go and ask the manager. So he runs off to go and ask the manager. Unbeknown to him, the old lady follows him. But he doesn't know she's there. Okay. So he gets into the office and he says, you know, there's this old bloody granny bitch down the downstairs that insisting on having half a pawpaw and as he says that he sees her behind and he says and this lovely lady wants the other half <laughs> <laughs> so that's a of story. course <laughs> <laughs> is that what you have to do as a retailer I mean there must be such difficult clients as well sometimes it must be crazy I don't know being loyal is part of fostering community prosperity if I support someone later um, later when it's needed it will return 100 fold I think you're absolutely right Camilla you're right uh, you've got to support each other yeah I think so and I think South End I've, I've adopted South End you know yeah, and, and yeah. warmer to, yeah. to a lesser extent but South yeah. End we want to create this safe haven yeah. for the people that live in South End there's a lot of older folk and there's a lot of young people coming yeah. into South End and what a wonderful community yeah. and, they, and they look after each other we've got a, a security group that we talk to each other all the time um, it, it, it really is I mean we it, so we try to create this place where people are, are secure and happy yeah. and, and it is a, it's a beautiful suburb so yeah. Okay, That's my community. Lots of townhouses around there. Absolutely. The school across the road, VP, Greenwood in, yeah. in Park Drive, and I, I support VP. We had our, our uh, trolley dash with yes. them on, on the weekend. And okay. the, the yeah. lady that won it, oh, she, it was amazing. She, oh, was, really? she was apologizing for taking oh, stuff. Sure. And we were throwing stuff into the trolley. Oh, you know? <laughs> so she left there with the most amazing stuff. So, oh, you, know, cool. we, we, you know, that's what we're doing. We, we're we trying go. to create this, foster this beautiful community. Yeah. Yeah. Wendy's saying she loves our, our South End. Yes, it is, it is yeah, great. One of the yeah. oldest places in PE as well. Okay, let's do two more. Here we go. The craziest thing you've done in the name of love. For Lindy, come on, she can probably tell us. Give us a clue, Lindy. Our 25th wedding anniversary, I think, is, uh, it, I don't know if it was crazy, but it was yeah. for love. We, are, we had our 25th wedding anniversary here, and uh, I, booked the, I booked the um, honeymoon suite at the courtyard. Oh, and, nice. Um, oh, you see, I only wants one on thing the, for years. We put a table on the veranda, and <laughs> I bought her, I don't know what it was, something diamond, and oh. put it on a place mat, and... Um, and so oh, we had a wonderful evening. Oh, she diamond. still talks about it. But the yeah. craziest thing about that is the yeah. next day, after yeah. that night, yeah. I won't tell you what happened after dinner, but yes. that's, yes. that's something we'll yes. keep to ourselves. Yes. That might have been also a bit crazy. <laughs> what does it anything to do with the rubber telephone? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was but about. the next day, I sent her to... Um, the spa, SPA, to yeah. go have a, oh, yes, the a, 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 a day spa, and I went and had a bike fitting. Oh, nice. <laughs> For his bloody bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just all about that. Oh, really. Oh, now, Lindy, or, Lindy or can give us an idea of anything crazy you've done in the name of love. You remember that one. Remember that. I think probably gone hot air ballooning too. Yeah. Eh? Oh, hot took air took air a, one of our anniversaries, I think it was Jeez. the 12th wedding anniversary, we went up to Sabi and we went cool. hot air ballooning. We've been hot air ballooning. I think I must uh, stop you talking about this stuff because my wife is going <laughs> to... Yeah. I've never been. Is it a Is it good? Unbelievable. Really? Unbelievable. We've That's been a couple of times. Quiet. Dead still. You can hear the really? cars, the traffic down. No. Incredible. But you, you've got to wonder where you're going because you can only go where the wind takes you. Eh? Oh, that's the problem. So that's the problem. But those guys are amazing. They land those yeah, things the... on the back of a truck when they land. So they no, they are very, very good. But so, but so this come down. Yeah. But what if it's windy and you get that? How do you well, get it down? They just know the wind. They just know how the wind blows. Oh, know. my soul. I see um, Gavin Biggs online as well. Gavin from uh, <laughs> from City Paint and Tool. How's it, Gavin? He's been on the show as well. Fantastic. Ah, Kevin, how's it, buddy? Nice to see him. Good old Albany family, yeah, that as well. It's just wonderful, wonderful uh, business as well. Yeah, good, good. Uh, okay, um, the crazy, uh, yeah, that, that was crazy. Who's your hero? Anybody that said uh, it like, like a mentor? Soppy as well. as well, but my father. There's not even a question. Oh, really? My dad's 83, still. The most amazing man. He's five foot three. He's only this big. Really? Okay. He's still uh, going strong. He's still going strong. Walks seven, eight yeah. kilometers a day, and he's wow. taught me everything about life. You know, yeah. and uh, he is my hero. There's not even a question. Yeah. I hope he's listening. Probably not. Oh, but, no, uh, okay. you can always watch it. But, he, after know, the fact. but he knows that. So yeah, you know, yeah. I'm one of four kids, and we all love him wow. to bits. How, how many? How many siblings? So, I've so got for three, three, I've got two brothers and a sister. Two brothers yeah. and sister. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. and they. And we all just believe he's the most amazing man. Disinpern. 
it's it's a it's an odd name. It's it's not an odd, odd name. It's, it's like where is it from? Where what where is the where are the roots? I can tell you that it's not English. actually the Saint Pern. It's actually Gurel de Saint Pern. It Gurel. means Gurel is our name oh. that comes from the place Saint Pern. So oh. does Saint Pern means from? Okay. Uh, and the town of Saint Pern is in Normandy in France. There's okay. a town. My grandfather, and my dad have actually been there to the town, oh, wow. um, and our surname is Gurel. But they dropped that. My grandfather's name was the last one that had it. His name was Joseph Emile Maurice Gurel de Saint Pern. So okay. very Gurel French. But he was you born in Mauritius, so we actually from originally from Mauritius. That's the French, French, was the French, French colony. colony, of course, yeah. of course. So that's where the family comes yeah, Socrates is, uh, is, is, is there as well. Yeah, nice socks. to see you. Yes. Socks is on. Uh, Henry is the best. I agree. Your dad is a great guy, Mike. Uh, yeah, Gary they all, know, all my well. friends all know him. Wait, wait, so is he still up? He's in Pretoria. He stays. Pretoria. He lives with my, my older brother um, and uh, in Pretoria, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm keen to know what cars he had in those the early days. What, what My feet? father. Yeah, what were those cars? He used to drive these bloody commandos. You know the commandos, oh, yeah. the, the Chevrolet commando. And oh, the, Jeez, look at those okay. things. They're the 4.2 V8 <laughs> engines and pull caravans with them. And, uh, you know? 20 liters a yeah, kilometer. And they, had, um, they, they were the ugliest cars ever. You know? But that's the cars that he used to have. <laughs> <laughs> For the fleet. Uh, Fantastic. I love it. Oh, uh, you mean the taxis? Oh, the taxis. Oh, the taxis. Yeah, 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 the taxis. Um, what did he have in those days? Toyota Corollas. Oh, really? Like okay, yeah. okay. Toyota Corollas. And I think then he moved on a little bit to the Opel Cadets. Oh, the Cadets, uh, the, the T cars. The, the T cars. Yes. And that was my first car. It was a bright oh, really? yellow T car. Was my oh, first car. Magic. It was, came off the fleet. Thirteen hundred. It was a thirteen hundred disguised as a V eight because as a student oh, really right. I could make it go like. Well, a super boss. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <speed. laughs> sometimes four cylinders, sometimes three. Yes, yes, on yes. How <laughs> No, no, I had a Beetle. Uh, I think my first car was a Beetle. Uh, okay. My wife's first car was a Beetle. Jeez, it was a good one. Yeah, and it was an amazing car. Yeah, and noisy and liquor. Yeah. Like you drove, it's like... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> my daughter's like that. She just wants yeah. something old. Some yeah. car that's old. Beetle or... I mean, she yeah. sees an old car. No, nothing fancy. Doesn't yeah. She's not worried about Porsches and those kind of things. You but know. the old cars. Old car. That's what... Oh, uh, liquor. Oh, I love They're just more trouble when they we'll have to have a, We'll have to have a thing. Come on, Oaks. Put in, your, put in the comments what your... Uh, just for my thing, because we're going to... We're going to be doing our competition now, but put in, put in while we while we're talking, put in your first car. I want to see who's driving what for the first cars. But we're going to do the do the competition. Thank you, Mike. It's been fantastic. Uh, yeah. Thank you. It's Thank been you. a it's been a winner. I told you I didn't know what was going to come out. No, uh, no, it's been fantastic. <laughs> it's been a very interesting story, man. And uh, we we so we know it. We have to support the super, the quick spa as well. Wine tasting as well. Let me know if you want to join the wine tasting club as well. You can we'll get you on too. Everyone's welcome. Yeah, we do it. And, uh, and we're going to do the competition now. We're going to give away the Fitch and Leeds uh, to one of you lucky buggers online at the moment. We pull the lever and we see who's going to win. Even Gary's on there as well, I see. Who we got? Who we got? Is Gavin? Is it Mark Banks? <laughs> Mark Banks, you have got We're going to send it to you. So, so Wendy will get hold of you and, and organize that to be sent to you. The, the Fitch and Leeds guys have been kind enough to give a case of Fitch and Leeds to every every night to a winner. Here we go, some of the cars. The Beetle, Mark Hildenhuis. Here we got go, a Beetle. And a, a 78 Golf 1100. Yes, like that's a hell of a thing. A, Re a Renault Cordini? That sounds like Garth. Yeah, that's giving away your age. That's Nobody knows anything I don't even know what that is. Now look that up, Garth. It's a 68 Beetle budget like that. Was mine was a 63, Jeff. Uh, oh, Uno. no. <laughs> By Italiano. A Tiggs. <laughs> a Tiggs. A Datsun 1400YSDX. <laughs> Excellent, but I love it. I love these, these things of the car. All right, so my first was a Mercedes Benz. Oh, my goodness. Good Lord. Lord. <laughs> my mafa, that's a hell of a car. A Morris Minor. Is everybody used to do that? So the Morris Miners. Oh, before you were born, the two nippers. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, guys. What a lovely evening. It's been fantastic oh, fun, thank you, Mike. Thanks. Thank you to Spa, and thank you to Fitch and Leeds for our prize, and thank you to Amobia, of course, for helping us out. We'll see you next Tuesday. I've got uh, the lady from Big Time Taverna. Of course, we've got... Uh, we, ne next week, we're going to be in St. Francis, and we're we'll chatting to... Uh, to, to, to the guys there, it's, 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 Melina, Melina, Melina's on from St. Francis, and we're uh, Tsotsopoulos, and we're going to be chatting to her next week, so don't miss it. Laka, we'll see you then. Thanks, Mike. Fantastic, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so?
Oh, there's some more. It's green. 1939 Chevy. Gary Saunders says a Monza. Morris 1109. Good Lord. I don't know. Whatever. A Monza. Those last forever, those cars. 1100. Be punting. We will do. Thanks, Keith. Okay. Relax it down. Coming out of PE town. Drink, find a shot. Never mind your liver. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Gino spot, Gino spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot, Gino shot. Get the Gino spot, Gino spot. Get the Gino spot, Gino spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle.